My name's Leanne and I am here at Colonial Michelin Mackinac and I've gotten all my clothes on but ladies in the 18th century would often add more. Um, sometimes we joke that more is better in the 18th century. The more you can layer on the better. Um, and what I'm mostly missing right now is my jewelry. Um, they did have pierced ears. Uh, they did like things around their necks so that's most of what I'm going to be putting on. Um, I've, I know our archeologists find jewelry, not every day, but they find at least some every summer when we're excavating here. A lot of it is paste stone jewelry. So um, things like rings set with colored stones or earrings, sometimes necklace beads or pendants. Um, I don't have any paste stone jewelry. Um, <laughs> I think of it kind of like modern costume jewelry, um, but I do have some fake pearls. So I think that's what I'm going to wear in my ears today. Um, they, there's different types of clasps for these. Um, mine are, are lever backs, but uh, they work just fine. They stay on and I don't lose them. Um, jewelry is accessible for most people at this time period. I know Besides the Europeans, we're also finding, wearing jewelry, we're also finding that a lot of the native people are wearing various types of jewelry. Um, and I also am going to put on a necklace. There are a lot of different types of necklaces than just like there are today. We do, again, find archeological evidence of that here. We find in paintings and images from the time period that a lot of French women especially are wearing a long cross at their neck or sometimes they're just wearing a simple silk ribbon around their neck. Um, mine is kind of both and let me make sure I'm trying to make sure I've got it twisted the right way. Um, sometimes my ribbons get kind of stubborn but silk ribbons would have been imported of course just like everything else at Michelin Mackinac. We're not self-sufficient here and there really are very few people that were self-sufficient anyway. The problem is my hair keeps getting caught in the back, so we'll just switch it around to the front. This will be my solution, um, which is also a look. You could wear your ribbon tied in the front in a bow, a big bow sometimes. But all right, I think we've got success here. Uh, there we go. Okay, I've got a dangly bit. Looks good. Um, and I, my hair is not particularly light, not particularly dark. Um, and that means that my eyebrows are not particularly light or particularly dark. Um, but one of the things that we find when we wear 18th century clothes or are trying to get that look just right is that um, attention to detail makes all the difference. And one of the details that you see quite often in paintings is that, um, and in and period books from the time, um, manuals on beauty, they mention that they are darkening their eyebrows just a little bit. Uh, I have some burnt cloves that actually work really well if you need an eyebrow pencil and are in a pinch. So let's see how this turns out. It sometimes takes me a time or two, especially when the mirror is a, that far away. Okay, eyebrows are a little bit darker, I think. Um, and I'm also feeling rather pale today. Ugh, partly because it's cold, partly because it's winter time. And one of the ways that you can make your face pop a little bit more, your eyebrows, but also your lips and your cheeks. And I have a little bit of rouge and there are different ways to make this in the 1700s. If you can't go to a shop and purchase it, which here at Michelin Mackinac, they're probably importing it rather than making it themselves or going to a shop. Um, but it's almost always alcohol based. Sometimes brandy is the main base alcohol and it can be rather strong. So we'll see how this turns out. Eh, that's okay. It's pretty red, my lips are chapped anyway. And you can kind of layer it on. Okay, eh, yeah, I think they do look redder actually. I think that's very nice. And then cheeks. Oh, that's 
better. So one of the one of the things that I really do want to mention is that people are not necessarily wearing all of the jewelry and all of the makeup because they're um, I don't know be because they have nothing else to do or because it's their main focus in life they're wearing it because they want to look good just like we want to look good today um, when I go out of the house in 2020 I still comb my hair every day so this is kind of like the 18th century it's it's just the equivalent all right, I think I'm all set. I'm ready to start my day. I've got my makeup on, I've got my jewelry, my clothes are all pinned in place. If you would like to talk to me, please come and visit me at Colonial Michelin Mackinac in Mackinac City, Michigan. You can visit our website at mackinacparks.com. And again, thanks for joining me.